Hey there, welcome back to this playlist on Tosca 2024. We are talking about all the latest features which has been recently introduced into Tosca. So let's talk about our next latest feature. So this feature allows you to basically uh, find out all the broken links either uh, on a web page or on a PDF. So interestingly, this feature uh, has been long awaited uh, because uh, we always need to check all the links uh, on a particular web page or uh, you also want to check it on a PDF file. And uh, in order to do that, the only way uh, around was to uh, go and check all the links uh, individually or uh, you put it in a loop using some HTTP response codes, right? Now, this has uh, become a lot easier now. Uh, now you can just use uh, inbuilt module, which has been uh, developed by Tosca and uh, added into the T-Box modules. And from there, you can use them to verify any broken links uh, in your web page or your PDF page uh, in few seconds. So let's see how we can do this. So again, uh, the prerequisite is uh, always that you have uh, already upgraded to the latest version of Tosca because these features wouldn't be available in the older versions of Tosca, right? So let's go ahead and open our workspace. And here uh, we are working on this folder, which is uh, 2024 features. Uh, let's go ahead and add another test case here. And we are going to call this uh, broken links. Okay, now uh, if we go ahead and look out for the particular test step or module, uh, which we are looking for. So if you search for broken links, you will see there are two modules. One is the check PDF for broken links and one is check web page for broken links. So if you're working uh, on your PDF documents, then you can use this module. And if you're working for a web page, you can use this particular module, okay? So if I click on this, so here if I expand uh, these parameters, so there is the search criteria so this will help Tosca to um, put some criteria behind where it wants to search for broken links and uh, what it needs to search for, right? So uh, here uh, we have to provide the title of the web page. We have to provide the URL, and then uh, we have to provide the window index if uh, there are multiple windows with the same title, right? Uh, you can also ignore the errors if you want, um, so we can specify whether we want to ignore or uh, we don't want to ignore. By default, it will not ignore uh, any particular errors, but if you want to bypass uh, some errors, if you know that these are expected, you can specify it here so that it will ignore uh, any specific errors, right? So uh, let's go ahead and try out any particular web page where we might find some broken links. So for this, I'm going to use uh, the demo web shop, okay, from uh, Presentis. So we'll use this particular website to check whether it has got any broken links, right? So here, uh, if I go ahead and put the URL now, this is the URL. And then uh, the title, if you look here, the title is demo web shop, right? So we'll put a demo and then we can use some regular expression here, okay? And then, uh, window index so we can choose the window index or we can put our own index as well so this will help us in a scenario where multiple pages are open with the same title right so we'll put uh, one here so that it selects the first uh, web page with this particular title and then uh, we are ready to run right so let's change the work state here to complete it so let's go ahead and run this and let's see whether uh, this page has got any broken links right so let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so our test case has failed. And uh, although I know the reason, I wanted uh, to specifically mention this, okay? So this uh, test case will fail if you don't have a test configuration parameter defined. Okay, so it's uh, mandatory to define a test configuration parameter for browser and then select a particular browser, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So here, uh, we'll go ahead and add a test configuration parameter for our test case. So here we will add 
and we'll select uh, the parameter name as browser and in the value we can select it as chrome okay so now uh, if i go ahead and run this this should pass okay so this time around uh, we got a different error right so this is not related to our test case but the verification itself has failed right so that is what we expect. Uh, if there are any broken links, we want our test to fail. So if we look at the log info, you will see uh, one unique link uh, returned errors during verification. Uh, it was failed because uh, the status code was 403. So any status code which is not uh, in the 200 range uh, will be considered as a failure, right? And here it is also stating that it has successfully verified 61 unique links. So this is how you can verify all the links on your page within a few seconds. So here you can see it was executed in eight seconds and uh, preparing this test is not very difficult. Uh, it's pretty easy here, right? So this is how you can um, check your different web pages or web applications for broken links. Right now, if uh, we want to check uh, for broken links on a PDF, right? So that also can be done. Now for that, there is a different module. So let's search for broken links. And this time around, it is check PDF for broken links. Okay, so this will check for broken links in your PDF. And here we need to specify the PDF file. So I'll select a PDF file, which I have prepared uh, with some broken links, okay? And then uh, here again, uh, there is an option to ignore the errors, okay? So right now I don't want to ignore the errors. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so it was expected to fail. Uh, and let's see what's there in the log info. The verification has failed. It will also tell you uh, which uh, links uh, failed the verification. Okay, so these are the links uh, which are present on the PDF, which failed uh, the verification step. And it was also able to successfully verify 50 unique links, right? So uh, that's how you can very easily check for broken links either on a PDF or on a web application. So this has been a long awaited feature, I would say, um, and it makes our job a lot easier to verify links um, on a web page or on a PDF page. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.